Hello and welcome to this webinar. And what we're going to be talking about today is the Race Studio 3 analysis software and really looking at a specific function called user profiles. Now this tutorial is part of a series that is going to be focusing on the new production software that has come from AIM in the last couple of weeks. And uh, we're going to pick up where we left off at the last tutorial, where we left uh, a sort of looking at being able to create a custom view with a time distance and then being able to continue the conversation to saving it. So the reason I say saving it is that I like to think about this just like as if I was writing a long document on a word processor or working on a, on a spreadsheet. I like to save my work as I go so that should I turn the file off and then reload it, I haven't lost any of the work that I've been looking at. The same thing is going to apply as we look to setting up a view in the Race Studio 3 analysis software. So let's transition to the software and have a look. So here I am in the uh, Race Studio 3 and I'm going to load up this profile here. This is an AIM Solo 2 file and I'm going to load it up. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly create a view based upon uh, a simple analysis that I want to do in this time distance view. So I'm going to turn off the internal battery. I'm going to say I want to be able to see GPS speed, which um, is here. If I click on it, it moves over. I want to be able to see uh, GPS longitudinal information and I'm going to stay there. I'm not going to necessarily customize it too much beyond that. One of the things you may notice down here at the bottom is that I have what they're calling the storyboard. This is the way that you can see each and every lap if you click on any of these particular areas and it allows you to sort of select the laps. Now this is something that I choose not to use. It's not something I use very rare, uh, regularly. Some people do. And so this is where you can start getting into the user profile and starting to customize your own view. And we're going to look at that in more detail in a later tutorial. But just to be able to demonstrate creating something which is custom for me, I'm actually going to right click in this uh, graph here. I'm going to get these options available to me. And you notice down here, I can remove, I can add, or I can choose a different type of information there. I'm actually going to click on remove window because I don't want that there. The next thing I'm going to want to be able to do is to be able to sort my channels. And so if I stack them that way, I can now see speed at the top and longitudinal acceleration. Now at this point, I'm starting to customize to the point where I don't have to do this over and over again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click up here in the top left hand side to this gear icon. I'm going to click here and I'm going to click save profile as and now I can create this new profile and I'm going to call this AIM GPS data analysis. And if I click on OK here, what you can see up here on this tab is this has now changed the name AIM GPS data analysis and it's now become a user profile which will always stay with me. And interestingly, it'll stay with my login up here if I want to be able to use this. And I'll explain that a little bit more as we go through this tutorial. Now I can start customizing this a little bit more to be able to get the view that I want to be able to see. So for example here, uh, these lines are a little bit too narrow for me. So I want to be able to make that a little bit wider. So I'm going to change that to number two. And um, the view I want to be able to see, I'm actually, I probably want to add a bit of latitudinal acceleration in there as well. So um, I've added a few things. All I'm going to do is I'm going to click up here, click save profile now rather than save profile as, and that's just going to keep continually saving the profile as I edit it and as I update it. Then what I can do now is uh, I can actually um, close this down because I've saved the profile and I can open that up with any file that I want. So. If, for example, here I can go in and say I want to be able to load up this profile here. Notice that even though I've brought in a file that's come from an Evo 4S that's got a lot more sort of channels that you can see here, notice how just the GPS ones that I've selected are still open. I've got the view, I've got the right width that I wanted to be able to see of that particular um, view on the measures graph, and it just allows me to be able to understand and look at that view over and over again. Now, and I'm going to show you a different user profile, I wanted to be able to go and load something else. All I need to do is to click on this icon. I can scroll down here. I can load a profile. And if I wanted to do, I know this car is a um, Van Diemen RF07. So I want to be able to see a um, driver analysis. I can click there. And that's going to take me to a different view of this data that's not only customized the time distance to be able to give me different channels. Notice I've got speed, RPM, throttle, brake, and steering. But it's also given me these other tabs that I've added as I've saved the profile. And so anything you do to be able to customize your experience, and we're going to look at that as we go forward, can be saved as a user profile. And then those user profiles can be used to be able to toggle between how you want to analyze your particular data file. And just to demonstrate, I can go up here, 
I can click on load profile and if I scroll over here, I can actually go down to the AIM um, GPS data analysis that we set up right at the beginning of this tutorial. Notice that's now changed and gone back to just those GPS settings that I have and I haven't got any additional tabs. If I wanted to see the track map there, I could add that. If I wanted to be able to see, for example, the um, uh, split times report, I can add that one in there. All I need to do here is click save profile and now that's the view that I have there. Then if I close this down, let's go back to uh, a different profile, which we can open that up. Click on here, load profile. I can do the RF07 driver analysis again. Uh, and remember, you can call these anything you like. So, you know, I've called it RF07 because I know it's for that particular vehicle that I have a data system in. I can click there. It's gone back to that view and I've got all of these channels. But if I so chose to do so, all I need to do is go here, click on that. And I go back to the view that I set up earlier on. And so user profiles are some of the most important parts of being able to set up your experience with the Race Studio 3 software, because what it will do is it will make sure that depending on what workflow you're looking at and what you want to be able to get from the data, you can customize that experience. And that's something that we're going to look at as we go through some of these tutorials. With that, I'm going to say thanks so much for watching this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. Um, a subscription would be brilliant because you'll see a lot more of these uh, videos as we produce them throughout the year. And with that, I'll say thanks so very much for watching.